Welcome to another episode of On Campus. Joining with us today is Edwin Akpokli, and I'm your host, Jacob Ebert. So first, tell us a little bit about your, about your background and how you got into basketball. Well, I first started playing basketball in elementary school around like fourth, fifth grade. A lot of my friends started playing, they tried to get me into it. At first I wasn't really for it, and then, because I was playing soccer at the time, and then I kind of got into it, started having a lot of fun, and I started taking it really serious around middle school. My family came from Africa, so like a lot of them played soccer growing up, so I was kind of new to the family for someone to play basketball. So I started getting into it, we started looking for a lot of trainers, and mm -hmm. I've been playing really seriously ever since. So, yeah. That's really cool. So how did you end up at Solana? Um, I was on my transition from middle school to high school. My parents wanted me to do early college, so I've been at Solana since my freshman year of high school, and I've just been taking college classes and playing basketball at Rodriguez High School. So I've been playing from freshman, sophomore year, I played JV. I actually didn't make it during COVID year, junior year. Cause I kind of just like, everybody got lazy and I didn't have any stamina at all. So I came back my senior year, I played really well and then I ended up breaking my right finger. So mm. I was out for majority of the season. So when I got back, I wasn't really able to play much, but I did have a lot of fun like playing with my teammates. We made it to the second round of playoffs. So That's really cool. So I know this year is not going as planned, but what would you say, how, how do you feel about this season so far? Well, I feel like I'm using it more of a learning experience because I know the second years that we have are like really good and I can learn a lot from them. So usually when I'm at practice, I kind of just want to see what they're doing and like try to see how my best way to mimic it so I can help improve my spot on the team and just get better. Because I'm planning on playing for four years, so I want to make mm. sure that all my skills get honed as best as they can. That's good. So, so what would you say your personal goals are for the for this season? Uh, my personal goals are mainly to work on my defense, and then on the off season, I want to work on my jump shot so I can become a better shooter than Cobbs. I want to let them know that. Mm, okay, that's 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 up there. <laughs> Cobbs is pretty good. Yeah, I want to let them know that. I'm so, uh, yeah, I think you can do it if you just put some work in it. I think you can do it. Yeah, most definitely. So, uh, on to my last question: What do you plan on doing? after Solana? Well, like I said earlier, I plan on planning a four year and finishing my degree. So I'm thinking of going to Davis because that's where my brother currently goes and he's about to graduate this year. But I was also told by some other people I met that used to play D1 at Berkeley. There was a guy I met at the park like, randomly someday and he was like, I played D1 at Berkeley so you start looking at other schools and make sure you have other options because offers can come from anywhere. So you have to be ready. So I'm gonna start looking into schools. I don't really know where I want to go yet. All I really know is like the local stuff like Davis, you know, the CSUs, but I'm trying to look more ahead and see other places I can find. Yeah, most definitely. And that'll do it for today's episode of On Campus. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Thank your you. host, Jacob Ebert, and we're out.